This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hi everybody, it's your old pal Rob here. Today we're going to be talking about a game. Um, I'll explain a little bit of it, but I think we're going to save our review once we get everything together and um, and talk about this a little bit more uh, it, it, it's a game that I've been very fascinated in and I couldn't wait to get my hands on but I wanted to make sure that before I talk too much about Black Sail from Warlord Games which they always make good stuff I really like what they've been doing lately um, I want to show you some of the things and some of the things you might have to go through to get this game together so without further ado let's go down open up the box take a look and uh, we'll go from there. Alright so very quickly I'm just gonna kinda go through what's going on here and the, the, the whole th reason for this video is this is a, a, a game that's selling off the shelves and I was lucky enough to get my hands on it it's from the same people that did Cruel Seas and that went off the you know went off the charts but there is a lot going on when you start talking about uh, ships from the revolutionary or you know early French and English ships and there's a lot of assembly here okay not only is there a lot of assembly but there is sails that you're gonna have to pop out and put on you're also going to have um, here's the dice for it everything's based off a d10 system and you get plenty of ships and stuff like that but you also have this which is rigging so you're gonna have to try to do some rigging if you want um, it, it this is really a great set and, and to be honest with you um, they also give you um, some cotton and, and, and uh, you know um, some thread and stuff in here to make smoke and firing uh, so you can put that to determine who fired the book is is fantastic we'll take a look at that in a second but um, you also have all these these mats that you can lay down now what I suggest if you have some of the other games like Age of Sail and stuff like that uh, I also have Pirates and um, uh, British and Pirates where I bought the mat uh, any sea mat neoprene mat will do you and you don't have to use these uh, you can of course use these really cool rock shoals and all this other stuff um, that comes in it and you'll you'll be fine so um, one of the things I, I want to tell you it's a very unique system and, and the, you get you, you know you get your quick reference guide on the back of course uh, Warlord does a really good job of just putting a game together and 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 the, you know with with cruel uh, seas they um, I heard that they they fixed a lot of things in here that was wrong with cruel seas even though there wasn't a ton wrong your rules there isn't a bunch of rules I think it's maybe 25 26 pages long um, well I'm wrong uh, it's oh goodness oh well okay yeah it's about about 30 pages of rules and then you have some advanced rules here uh, very basic stuff um, you're gonna lay this down and depending on where your sails are you're gonna be able to move your ship I don't have any of the ships put together yet uh, you've got your ship cards in there that are going to have all your stats and everything on it that you're going to need and we'll talk about this once I get these ships together but the thing I really wanted to stress in this um, is how much it's going to take to put some of these ships together there's a lot going on a lot of small parts and as you can see uh, you know this is just to get it together and that's not even putting the sails and the rigging and stuff like that and of course painting it so if you want to have that kind of commitment I think this is a game that you're going to want to see the next video that we do when we go over everything and and, and really just let you know what's going on the, the the system is just so easy and smart and and again warlord does a great job it's off a base uh, a, a, a d10 so if you have like a base of five then you're gonna and you're shooting uh, your heavy cannons uh, if you have a certain type of sail if you're shooting at a certain a smaller ship you're gonna have negatives 
and you're going to come up with your number. Let's just say it's three. You're, then you're going to roll your D10 uh, and you're going to have to get a three or under to hit. From there, you're going to assign damage. Then there's a critical damage chart. You're going to be able to aim high and low, so you're going to go after the sails or the hull of the ship. A lot of neat, neat things, but you could tell the detail that they put into these is going to be fantastic once we get these together. The whole thing, again, I'm going to hammer home. If you want to make the commitment, there is a lot going on. And there's a ton of expansions out for it, which I think you guys will really, really find fascinating as well as, hey, look, you're going to have to put all those stickers on too. Awesome. So let's go up top and close this out. We'll talk a little bit about this and we'll get ready for our next video on Black Seas Master and Command. Now listen, uh, reading the rules, going over the rules, and, and I have some of the Age of Sail ships, and I was messing around with this a little bit, even though they're not the same size. The whole thing that I found is that there's a very good game in this box, and a lot of people would really enjoy this, and you could play it. And you know, a lot of these games are coming down to these, you know, three by three by three type of um, of, of tables, so anybody can play them and have that board game feel to it. The problem here, like I said, is there's a lot of assembly, and if you want these things to look good, putting those sails on are going to be a challenge. Doing the rigging is going to be a challenge, and it becomes more of a hobby than the actual game the game is fantastic uh it, i love the the whole point that you can aim shoot you know you can you can decide to shoot high or low you know if you want to go after and try to knock out their sails or just try to sink it you know that's fine too the you know the critical table the book is very informative it's very clean there's not a lot of rules to it and we'll talk more about this in the next video once we get these together and and you see some of the struggles that, that, that I'll go through to put these together. Again, you don't have to do it, but if it's there, you want to do it. It's nice that also that they put in there uh, some of the cotton and stuff to make smoke at, for firing and sinking and all that other stuff. I really like that touch. Um, this is a game that, that I think I would play a lot. Um, so we're going to put it together. Uh, I've got some of the expansions, which we'll talk about later at a later date. But I just, more than anything else, want to show you what came in this starter set and what you're going to have to go through to get into this. And right now, I think this this is a fantastic game. It's just a matter of whether you want to try to have the commitment to pull it all together. Now, some of you are like me that will put models together all day long. Uh, but anyways, we will talk further about this game yet again once we got all these wonderful ships together and uh, uh, I tell you how my experiences went. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.